and God being the loving and just God that He is, not just a God. He's, you know, He's a that uh, uh, He He knows the difference between the two. And if they're sent to hell, they're sent to hell for a reason. They're not sent to hell for for, for not uh, for not knowing. Okay, so in other words, there are Hindus and Buddhists and who can be who can be saved because they never heard about Jesus in the first place. Uh, okay. But it's always it's always best to hear about Jesus and accept him. Okay. So, so, the Buddhists, so the Buddhists and the Hindus today have every chance to hear about Jesus because of the technology. Well, that now because of the technology now, everybody has the opportunity to hear. You know, and that was not you know that's one of the end time prophecy signs. That was not possible until CNN. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now you have other news networks and Christian networks and whatever else. Everybody, see, this is why we know we're in the end times. It says the gospel will be preached throughout the whole world. It doesn't say to every person. It says throughout the whole world, and then the end will come. It is now being preached everywhere via via satellite. So we could thank Ted Turner for that because he was the founder yeah, of right. CNN. Well, no, he, God, you, God even uses Satan, doesn't right. he? He does. Okay. Yeah. So, so, uh, so, you know, uh, Ted Turner at one point in time, uh, well, he's, no, that's right, he wasn't. Uh, uh, Hanoi Jane uh, was married to him, and uh, uh, you know, she th she thinks she's become a Christian. Okay. Uh, you know, she had a she had a uh, after she had a black uh, chauffeur talking her around uh, witnessing to her, and uh, she finally accepted. And she said, "She whiz, I, I, you know, uh, I, I would become a Christian a long time ago if I, if I, if I, if I was, if I was, uh, if I'd known that I didn't have to change anything in my life." Okay, well, um, you know, the quote I gave you last week from Charles Stanley, um, you know, uh, God accepts you where you are; He'll accept either of them where they are, but he loves you so much he's not going to let you remain there. Okay? So she is, you know, as far as I know, she is still on the board of Planned Predators. How can you be murdering children and think that you're saved? You're not. Okay? How can people who think they're saved walk into an abortion clinic to do it? Okay? You can't. How can people who are Christians walk into an abortion clinic to get birth control and they're not married? Okay, first of all, of course they shouldn't be getting birth control even after they're married. It still causes chemical abortions. It doesn't allow the, the uh, fertilized egg to implant. Okay, they have an abortifacia. So, you know, that's still that's still wrong. Uh, it still causes it still causes abortions. They're, they're chemical abortions, and they don't know when it occurs and when it doesn't because uh, you know you, you know, just you know, it, it, it takes care of itself. Go ahead with your question. Yeah, um, I thought when you you just said Christians, you know, go in for people who claim to be Christian. Okay, claimed to be Christian. Yes. If they were Christians, wouldn't the Holy Spirit within them yes. condemn them? Yes, the Holy Spirit would be making them feel very uncomfortable. So and I had that happen to Can you them. say to those people that say, well, I'm a Christian, yeah. say, no, I do. Not. I do. I said, if you if you were a Christian, the Holy Spirit would be making you very uncomfortable, and you would you would not dare go in that building. Okay, so it's okay to say to them. Yeah. Yes. Boy, they oh, get absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Boy, they get absolutely. If they were you know? a Christian, they wouldn't even have left told them. Well, well, they want so, people to think they're Christian. Now, a week and a half ago, I had a black woman that, that, that came out, and when she when she left, you know, was you know, was able to give her some information, um, and uh, and talked to her for a while, and uh, you know, she said she'd gone into you know to uh, to get some information on it. She was she was she was tending towards an abortion, and then she realized she couldn't do it. She said, "I felt very uncomfortable in there." I said, "You're a Christian?" And I said, she said, "Yes." I said, "That was Holy Spirit telling me don't do it." Okay, and all of a sudden it was like a light went on her head. Yeah, you're right. Okay, praise so, God. It. Yeah. See, a lot of a, even though we've had the pictures of aborted children for you know back to '96, '97, we got them here in Cleveland in '97. You know the, the the better ones. Uh, hang on. Um, uh, the better ones, uh, the Malachi's and stuff like this. You know the bigger ones. Uh, we still haven't reached everybody in the United States because we can't get on mass media. Okay, that's that's the problem. You know, we can we can only hit a few people at a time by going out to the abortion clinic, doing downtowns, uh, doing universities, uh, you know, uh, standing on street corners, whatever as cars drive by. We you, we we can't get on mass media for them to see. Uh, you say you don't think a Christian can go into an abortion clinic to get an abortion, but what about First Peter four fifteen, where uh, Peter says, "Suffer not a Christian to be a murderer." Uh, they I said people that claim to be Christian go in. Oh, okay. Okay. So if I didn't put the claim, I did in one, you know, if I said a second time, 
No Christians go in. Mm. People who claim to be Christian will go in. Those you know, they have crosses on their rearview mirrors. Mm. You know, they're walking in with with Bibles, whether they be study Bibles or you know, you know, Jewish Jewish people with the, with the, with the Torah. Okay, so you know, black black girl with you know, that, that was Jewish and had the Torah. And of course, I gave her the Old Testament Bible verses. Uh, you know, but because America is so dumbed down in so many different areas, the Bible is one of them. People think they can read the Bible once they know it all. Okay, um, you know they don't they don't realize that every time you read the Bible, you get more and more out of it. Uh, you know, as you know, the testimony I have, I did it six times, and we then got to the point where God started giving me words to verses to check out. And in King James, you know, with the modern day English that we have compared to what they had back there, it seemed like there was a conflict. And when I took the uh, the, the uh, cross reference, you know, uh, they went they, one one led right to the other, and I misunderstood a word here, a word here, or in both. That when I understood the old, you know, the the uh, early modern English uh, definition of the word, they matched. Okay, um, the uh, uh, and then he, you know so and then he had started having me do uh, do what uh, uh, word studies. To find out, you know, and that takes you, and each one of those steps takes you deeper and deeper. Okay? Uh, you can read the Bible through every year, uh, but if, you, if you're not learning something new each time you read it, you might want to think about doing some of these word studies. You know, have the Holy Spirit give you a word. That's what he did for me. You know, he popped the word in my mind. I, you know, I didn't, I didn't ask for it. He said, check out this word, check out that word. You know, I got a whole list of them that I've never gotten to, even. Okay? It's a, you know, it's a rest of your life thing. Go ahead. Yeah, um, I. This is this is just what I see. It seems like, and at my old church and everything, Christians are supposed to be nice to everybody. You don't insult people. You treat them nicely. But as you where, grow, where did you, and, where, where, where did you get that? At my old church. Oh, your old church. Okay. And and other Christians, a lot of times, if you go out and you say, you know, you're a sinner, you are not a Christian, or you have a filthy mouth and you shouldn't be talking that way and stuff. These people will say, well, you're not a very nice Christian. You're not a Christian because you're yeah. telling you're me I'm wrong. doing wrong. Oh, you wrong. judge yeah. me. We have judging. just become, <laughs> we've just become yeah. hoo-poos. Yeah. <laughs> now, Christians are yeah. not answer, afraid to talk. I know. Your and answer, your answer like is in Ezekiel uh, 3, 18 and 19. And repeat it again in 33 right. verses 8 and 9. And since I've been well, coming go, here... You want to go there and see it? Yep. Since I've been coming here, I've been told, be bold. And I never Proverbs, heard that. Proverbs I never heard that. One, no. And two, my family... The righteous are as bold as lions. And and I'll, I'll, give you, I'll give you the verse. It says, if you don't warn the wicked, the people that are doing things wrong, <laughs> then, they're, then their sin is on fine. you. Mm -hmm. I don't Christians. know about you guys, but I got enough, like I put my last yeah. letter again. Uh, I got enough of my own sin. I don't I do need too. I don't need no. anybody else's. Well, okay. that's that's exactly why my family says they've seen that we've become bolder and that we're not afraid of yes. you know what the world would do. Persecution, and right. they think we're brainwashed and we're bad Christians I now. I and, uh, and, open, and tell them to open their Bible and look at Proverbs twenty-eight one. The righteous are as bold as lions. Okay. The Bible did say too. But nobody would, else is telling these other Christians to do that. Yeah, because so we're in a I just fire said that the church is so watered down. Mm -hmm. Yo, yo, it's it's don't offend the offering plate. All right, yeah. twenty. It's a twenty-eight rule. Twenty percent of the people give eighty percent of the people, so we're not going to offend them. Okay, because they might leave and send their some money someplace else. Mm -hmm. That's where that's where the problem is. Okay. Yes. Did you, what did you say, please? Did you say Proverbs about 28, old? 28. 28. Put it underneath. And what did you say, the thing about um, Ezekiel 33? Three? About the, um, uh, don't let their blood be on. Yeah, that's Ezekiel 3, 18 and 19. 18 and uh, and, and repeat it virtually word for word in 33, verses 8 and 9. Okay? So that's why we go out to the clinics. Out of love, we tell them the truth. You know, uh, did, what did Jesus say about uh, about his cousin John the Baptist? What was he doing? Yeah, he was gone. Okay, he was, yeah. he was telling the truth, and you know, and then you can give him, and then you can actually give him Jesus. 
He started his ministry and he ended his ministry by going in the temple and overturning the tables and whipping them. He you know, wants to let them know, I'm here. <laughs> okay? You know, the, uh, you know, the Messiah is here to, uh, to clean, this, clean, clean this mess up. Next we're going to be arrested for being bold. Probably will. I know. Uh, pray, you know, pray to God that he does not give you a prison ministry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what if it doesn't work? Yes. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Okay, so there is a, I don't know where I read it, but I know I read it some of his feet, yes. you know, all over the place. But anyway, uh, doesn't it say that there will be uh, families that will be destroyed because of, yeah. you know? Yeah. Well, you know, what, well uh, you know, the Hosea 4, 6, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Right, but there's okay. also a passage that says that, Sons against fathers. Oh, oh yeah, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Matthew 10:34. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 10. Um, Thank you. Very good, Doug. Thank um, you, Doug. Because I have that same situation in my family. I have a brother that is totally. His name is Thomas. He's a doubter. <laughs> oh, <laughs> his name is perfect. He was named yes. perfectly, and he, he just doesn't want to did hear you, it. Right so now. you have told him he's in the Bible. Yeah, I did. He's right here. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. yeah they don't like it. They no, don't they don't. Like they don't want to hear it. Well, you, you can't you know, pray for a full family reunion. Yeah. Okay? And let God take care of it. See, Jesus went to Nazareth and nobody believed him, didn't want him because he was too close. Okay? Yeah. So you pray for God to send some send another Christian to befriend them and they'll listen to them, but they won't listen to you because you're you're, you're too close to them. Well then James also uh, not say that he was, you know, they didn't really uh, think that Jesus was when we said he was. Well, none of his family did until yeah. he until he rose from the dead. Yeah. Okay. The deal the deal was and and God and God probably did that for Mary. Okay. Uh, because Mary was highly favored. You know, not God, not, not uh, you know, uh, 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 full of grace. Right. So in one place in the Bible it says full of grace. You know, John one fourteen. Then we come and when you add verse seventeen to it, you find out Jesus is the only one that, that is full of grace. It's not Mary. But she, the word is highly favored. It does not mean full of grace that the Catholic Church tries to say. That uh, because of what she did, he, God probably saved, saved the whole family. Okay? You know, the four brothers, Judas, Josie, and Simon, and the sisters. You know, there were at least two. Okay? Now, it doesn't say how many sisters there were. But God has perfect jobs. Three, seven, ten, and twelve. So, two sisters would make ten children and would make, uh, uh, would make seven children. If there were five sisters, and that, that would make that would make ten, ten children that, that Mary had. Must be getting better um, and he would have saved all of That's them awesome. so that Mary would have a whole family <laughs> in heaven. And we know that that uh, James became the head of the church in Jerusalem. It was not even Peter. You know, in uh, uh, was it Acts 15 that I went over last week? Uh, um, yeah. Paul and I think it was Barnabas came back to say, "What are we going to do about circumcision?" Less than that, yeah, and uh, sure. Paul, you know, Peter stood up and said, "I don't think." I don't think we should uh, uh, force that upon him. James stood up and said, we are not going to force it upon him. Yeah, that there's four things we're going to have to do. Yeah, you know, we've been waiting for you know, uh, 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 to know, meat sacrifice, idol, fornication, uh, consuming blood. Uh, 80 pounds of uh, you know, the, those, were, those were the things that, that, that they still had to follow. So Plus, we get a nice 15 pound ham they're making right now. Well, other than right, when yeah. they went to the temple, and, you know, yeah, well, when Jesus from, was from the time he was 12. Yeah. Okay, that's the last time you hear about him. Okay, okay, so between the time he was yeah, we're born sure and the age of 12, kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah. Joseph could have had all these yeah. children from Mary. Wow, yeah. oh, and continued on and continued before he, before he died. Right. Right. So we don't okay. really know when Joseph got No, no, we don't. But we do know with with Matthew chapter 1, which is his lineage, all the way back to Abraham. And then in Luke uh, chapter uh, 3, I believe it is, um, you, or 4, you have the lineage of Mary. And only the last few names are changed. Know. Okay? To show that Jesus, that, that Joseph was the lineage and the king of the Jews. So when Jesus was born and, and, he, and Joseph died, Jesus became <laughs> king of the Jews. Okay? And that's why they put it on the top when he was crucified in three different languages. Okay, that that he was you know you know that, that, that he was king of the Jews. 
Now, for those who like to say that Joseph was married before and had these other brothers and, uh, you know, these, uh, these, uh, these sons and daughters with, with somebody else, uh, you know, the Catholics do that to try to justify, you know, when they, when they realize that, that these are, that these really are four brothers of uh, Jesus, well, they must have been half-brothers, you know, he, he was married before. Um, you know, I, uh, you know, number one, if Jesus, then Jesus would have been the youngest one, and James would have been the oldest, and James would have been the king of the Jews, not Jesus. Okay? Second of all, we turn to our last step. You know, with Mary being as pure as you say she was, would God give her a used husband? Mm, that, that pretty well ends all conversations. Yes. I mean, the, um, the husband of Mary, you just said, that, that was king of... Yes, he was king. Yes, Why are you saying that? You follow the lineage in in uh, in uh, Matthew chapter one. Uh huh. You know the fourteen generations here, fourteen generations yes. there, the fourteen generations from David, King David. Yes. And link uh, coming down. Yes. That mm -hmm. makes the lineage that makes him the king of the Jews. The the lineage came. The ki king's lineage always comes from uh, you know a descendant of the person. But David, so David was only king. I don't know. David was not king because of that. David was king because no, of no. King David. David was king. I know, I know. But then Solomon was his son, and he became king. And then someone else was 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 his son, and he became king. And someone else was his son, became king. All the way down to Joseph, who was the king of the Jews. But why are you saying he is the son? Why is he Jesus, saying, why are you saying Jesus? When Joseph died, then the firstborn son, like, became king. No, but why are you saying Joseph was the king? I just went through that. I know, but I, I don't. Because he was in the lineage. The lineage, yeah, you know, I said Because lineage. he was in the lineage of, of, David. of David. David. Of David. He was yeah. a poor king. He was a king. He was a king without a real country. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh. Because they had been taken over by the Roman Empire because of their sin. Oh. Okay. So dating back to you know you know Babylon. You know. Okay. Okay. But the lineage, the lineage firstborn goes all the way down to Joseph. Who would have been king of the Jews, but when he died, then it goes to the firstborn son, which is Jesus. Okay. And because it's a man's lineage, not God's lineage, because mm -hmm. we know Jesus was not the firstborn son of Joseph, mm -hmm. but of Mary. Uh -huh. Okay? Uh -huh. With the Holy Spirit being the real father. As far as man's lineage in the in the in the mm -hmm. in the physical realm, mm -hmm. he became the king of the Jews. Okay. This is another reason why all the scribes and the Pharisees hated him. Joseph didn't try to become the leader of anything. And here's Jesus telling them and witnessing to them and totally totally you know controlling them and they didn't like it because they they, they had the control before. Pride never thin before the fall. Scribes didn't like Jesus? The what? The scribes didn't like no, Jesus. No, none of them did. Oh, Very few of them did. Huh. You know, Joseph of Arimathea was, was a Pharisee, but he came to him in the middle of the night, right, in John chapter 3, okay? <coughs> some, of them, some of them understood and some of them accepted, but those okay. that were in control, like Caiaphas, yeah. okay, he did not like Jesus taking his authority away. Mm. He did not like Jesus getting in the way Too much of him having his... Uh, uh, of people uh, giving him uh, his reverence. Yeah, compete with the real now, a player. year ago, they actually <laughs> found his grave. In the last, the last six months, they, they actually found his grave. <coughs> they, okay. they found his grave site. Uh, they found Aaron the actual, the the actual Joseph? box with his bones. Okay. Yeah. So, I was doing, I was doing the uh, commentary on uh, verse 3. I see we're progressing as usual, only about four verses again this week. Um, uh, now, now is you know, you know reread the first verse, read the first verse of the commentary. Now, a second argument is anticipated. Uh, shall their, shall their uh, unbelief make uh, the faith of God uh, without effect? That's where I left off. As keepers of the Old Testament, the Jews had in fact failed to comprehend the message of the Old Testament, especially the prof the prophetic and uh, messianic uh, passages. Now, there are in the Bible there are uh, you know those who have counted them. Uh, 333 verses with 456 facts about the uh, birth, life, death, and resurrection of Jesus. And uh, people, you know, the Jews still don't get it. Because they have, God's put blinders on them. It's not their time. The tribulation period is the time for God to restore his, God the Father to restore his wife. Right now they are adulterers, spiritual adulterers. They said, give us Barabbas and let, you know, and let the blood of Jesus be on us and our children. They didn't give a time period, so God decided on the time period. You know, Hosea 6, uh, 
uh, 1 to 3. He said, in the third day, I will come to him. After 2,000 years, I will come to him. We are now at that point. Okay? And we see <coughs> a whole bunch of other things that is, that is coming real quick. Yeah. Okay? Uh, uh, and uh, by the way, now that more, you know, everybody's here, um, uh, Steve said a, uh, a, a video. Uh, it's a Muslim video. And the song and the words read, you know, uh, you know, very violent. It is, the video is very violent. You know, heads are being chopped off. Literally. Uh. Literally. Okay? Um, the most graphic thing I've, I've ever seen. Uh, the, um, you know, worse than your uh, Friday the 13th and Halloween movies that used to come on. Okay? Who made it? I mean, who? Uh, it looks like it's, uh, Muslims made it. Oh. Okay? Well. I, I, you know, it's there some, you know, uh, you know, uh, they, you know, we will, we will, you know, we're coming for you, we, we will control you. The world has always had barbarians. Mm -hmm. These are the modern day barbarians, mm -hmm. all right? And this, to me, is, you know, more, more proof as to why the sixth trumpet judgment, when you have the four demons generals coming out with a, uh, an army of 200 million, which I believe are also demons, which don't say they're men, and they wipe out a third of the world, they, the Muslims have them, won't have a third of the world at that point in time. And God gets rid of them. The Muslims aren't going to go along, aren't going to go along with the Antichrist. They're going to follow him. You know, and so the, for the Jews' sake, so they don't have to look at the Muslims trying to chop their heads off, you know, kill them every all the time. And the Antichrist do the same thing. That all they have to do is focus on the Antichrist. That's where they get rid of them, get rid of all the Muslims, right? Uh, uh, and uh, uh, we're going to, you know, we, we will we will be able to see that from heaven. Um, you know, but shortly <coughs> after that is when God is going to uh, close down uh, the view from heaven for us. You know, we aren't going to be able to see the, uh, you know, uh, Re uh, Revelation 15:8. The Shekinah glory comes in the uh, comes in the throne room, which means we will not be able to see Earth from that point on, and we will probably be starting the marriage supper of the Lamb anyway. Well, that'll take up our time, where we become the wife of uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, the unbelief of the Jews is uh, seen in their uh, rejection of uh, Jesus as Messiah, and consistently, and con excuse me, and consequently. They did not believe the oracles of God, which they uh, so carefully guarded. They guarded the Old Testament, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, books. Uh, they knew which books were canonized, which weren't. You know, the Holy Spirit let, let people know which ones were to be canonized in the Old Testament, which ones were to be canonized in the New Testament. They they guard they guarded them, but then they didn't follow. Them. You know, they 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 had unfortunately too many too much of the time of history that last 2,100 years or so of the whole, of the uh, uh, of the uh, Old Testament time period uh, BC days. Um, that's when that's when Abraham was born around around 2,100 BC. Uh, that uh, too often pride entered in. Too often they they thought they could do whatever they wanted to do because uh, they were they were the chosen of God. So we get to do what we want to do. Look at the church today. Ecclesiastes 1 9, saying nothing to wear in the sun. Most of the church is doing the same thing. Yeah, well, I got I got my ticket to heaven, so I'm not going to do whatever I want to do. <coughs> well, you know, 2 Timothy 3 12 says, if you're a believer in Jesus Christ, you will be persecuted. And if you don't think that's going to happen in some manner or another, uh, you know, and there's a hundred verses when you look at uh, where are the other words? Between persecution, affliction, suffering, and I think tribulation. Uh, tribulation from earth, not tribulation from God. There's about a hundred verses in the, in the New Testament which says that's going to happen to us. Now, God has put a hedge of protection around most of us that are out, out, working, out working for Him Thank because God. we're still evangelizing the world. But sooner or later, His hand of protection is going to be removed. And we're, and we're not going to wind up with some of the stuff that's going on in the Middle East for, for, for the Christians there. They pay a heavy price. You know they're Christians to die for the faith. Okay? Um, that's who that was in that video. A lot of those yes. People were yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah. And because they don't have their, their cop, most of them are probably Coptic Christians, yeah. which is really Catholic Church. But because they don't have the Bible, God is going to be a whole lot more lenient with them than He is with the Catholics that are, that are living here in the United States, who have the access to Bibles and still have their faith in the Catholic Church and everything they say, rather than having their faith in, in Jesus Christ. Okay. You know, and that's why that's why you that's why we all need to pray for. Them. When we know it's a lost person, that's, that's somebody that, that means something to us, you know, and even and just even even a blanket, uh, you know, a blanket covering, you know, uh, uh, pray for those that, that God wants you to talk to, that, that you have the boldness to, uh, boldness of lions, to talk to them, so that they will get saved. Don't rest on your laurels. That's what your family is doing. 
I got my tick devils, that, that's all I care about. Okay? And the question is, are they really saved? And you hope they are. Okay? They're part of the squishy middle. Right? Yeah. Doc. And um, in Matthew 24, verse 48, uh, those are the ones that say, uh, the evil one says the Lord had delayed his coming. So which means that uh, they're like, well, uh, it ain't come yet, so I'm just going to... Uh, yeah, you know, they, just, just they, just go, they just go do whatever they want to do. Yeah. Right. Uh, you know, I have heard, actually heard people say, well, when the rapture occurs, I'll say my prayer of, of repentance and, and, and accept Jesus as my Lord and yeah. Savior and go with you. Well, when it says we're going to be changed in the twinkling of an eye, um, General Electric has measured the twinkling of an eye, you know, the you know, flash of, you know, in, in, your, in your eyeball, um, at 11 hundredths of a second. It's real hard to recognize that Jesus is coming. Say that sinner's prayer in, 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 in 11 hundredths of a second. Okay? It, it don't work. It's going to be too late. In other words, yes. don't be late. Yeah, it will be. <laughs> well, you know, and that's part of why, and that's part of why I tell people about that second rapture with the, with the two witnesses. You know, if they haven't had their op their true opportunity for salvation, right now, okay, God will not send them. A, God, but those that have, you know, the Hebrew six or four six. And by the way, we 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 understand each other now. Oh, yes. <laughs> we went over that after church. Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know the end. You know, he will not be sending them a strong delusion. But those who have had the opportunity, he's going to send them a strong delusion because you only have one opportunity. Okay, you can't come back to that point again. Okay, um, I take it a little deeper than he does, but you know, yes. What about in, in Sodom and Gomorrah? Do you think they had a chance to, to know? <laughs> Everybody has a chance because God does not send anybody to hell just to send them. Okay. Okay. They decided. They decided to to practice sodomy on their own. You know, God says He writes His law on the hearts of everyone, so everybody knows what right and wrong is. Whether or not they, you know, whether or not they follow it is quite another deal. Okay. Too many people are are all they care about is the here and now. They don't think about tomorrow. I think about tomorrow when tomorrow comes. You know, they don't plan for the future either. So when America's economy goes down to tubes, which is going to probably happen soon. Sometime before Comrade Abomination leaves office, I expect him to uh, collapse the American economy. That's why you know we don't hear about uh, America in uh, in uh, end time prophecy, uh, you know, having any power, or being it being anything. Uh, that uh, America is basically dead. that you know pride enters in before the fall on the whole country. Yes. Could America be Mystery Babylon because we didn't they didn't know who we're what, we're, what, we're we're a type. Yeah. But as far as far Babylon, you you got Babylon is a symbolic word which means you know which covers a whole lot of things. Right. But during the tribulation period, the Babylon, the religion, unfortunately, will be the Catholic Church, and you see that in Revelation 17. Okay, along with the Antichrist. I mean the the the, the, the second beast in Revelation 13, um, uh, being unfortunately the, the Pope, and this is the guy. Okay, it looks like this is the guy. They're, they, you know, every every month or two, they have to correct what he says. He's told people. He's told people you are not to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. You're to have a personal relationship uh, with the uh, with the Catholic Church. He said Jesus failed on the cross. Isn't that why he came? Okay, he wants the one world government. He is a communist and has said so. All right, so hang on. Is he the false prophet? He's the false prophet. Okay, and then. There's most likely chance that Obama is the enemy. There, uh, okay, I'm 80 percent sure on both that Obama, in Comrade Abomination, will become the Antichrist because he fits everything that the Bible says. You know, that you don't know much about him or where he came from, or whatever. Did we ever? Has anyone ever? You know, no one's ever. You know, we know he came from Kenya. Okay, but the world doesn't know that. Okay, he Sorry. says he will come to power quickly. Look how quick he came to power. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, uh, it says he'll be a sodomite. We already know he is. Okay, and uh, Michael, his uh, supposed wife, is a sodomite. Right. Okay, you know we pretty well know that too. Mm -hmm. She has all the physical characteristics of a man. Yeah, right. okay. And if you see her without makeup, yeah, yeah. you can yeah. tell that it's a man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's really and, and yes. Comrade Abomination has multiple times referred to her as Michael. Michael. That's his real name. And you'll see, you'll say Michael and I. <laughs> yes, uh, right. You know he says that. Yes. He said that. Oh, hang on, about hang three on. times. Yeah. Yes. Now there are 
physical characteristics that a man has that a woman does. The middle two fingers, for instance, on a man is, you know, always short, put, put, put your hand up. Okay, you're, 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 you're pretty close, okay? Uh, but the shoulder width, the shoulder width on a man is the width of the head. A woman's is shorter. Okay. Yeah, a, man, a man's head is, or shoulders are three oh, widths of his head. Yes, a woman, uh, a woman is, is, is about two and a half. On a woman, this huh. finger is equal to this, usually equal to Oh yeah, yeah, that's what, that's what it is, that's what it is. And now put your hand up again. Put your hand up. Again. Okay, so you're, see, you're, see, you're first, and third, your first, first and third fingers are, are, are the same length. On a man, the, 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 the index finger short is short. Fat finger. Fat short. Finger. Okay. Also, she has male. Yeah, I mean, she has male really muscles. Wins? A man, a woman, a woman's. Uh, you know, her. A man's head will be one eighth of the.